This video was made by Frank Crosby as he interviewed Timothy Priest heading to the North Main Woods Allagash Checkpoint. Tim has been on many wilderness paneling trips run by Linwood the Lone Parsons and his wife Betty. Timothy shares his reflections on Linwood and Betty and his North Main Wood trips. So, so I guess the question, Tim, then is tell me a little bit about what it's like to be on a trip with uh, Linwood. It's, uh, it's very, for one thing, it's very relaxing and it's, it's a complete escape for me because I, I live in Boston in the city. So coming out here to the, to the woods is actually very nice and relaxing. It's always an adventure. I'm, uh, I'm known as the guy who likes to flip the boat, not on purpose, but I'm four for seven for going swimming. So if you come with me, you better wear your life jacket. And Linwood always takes us out. It's always a first class trip. And the nicest thing is that he's not only a guy, but he's my cousin. And it always feels more like a family outing than, than a professional trip. But he is a professional guide, so you do get that treatment. His knowledge of the woods is impeccable. For, uh, we're going to be doing a little under 100 miles for this trip canoeing. And he'll know every inch of the way. We're going to stop and look at locomotives. We'll hit Throw Island. And we'll even do some rapids called Cedar Rapids. And when we go to those, the rangers are going to take our gear. So you've been paddling with about 400 pounds worth of crap in your boat. And now all of a sudden you got a light boat. And you're going down the rapids. And it feels like you're in a Corvette. Mm -hmm. Compared to muscling around the heavy canoe you've been doing for days. So I'm really looking forward to getting the escape, and it's nice spending time with my father and, and friends too. You really see what people's true personalities are when you, when you get out here. We've had some people come along who are not invited back because their uh, personality really wasn't up for a few days in the woods. But you really, you really see who's the trooper and who's not. And if you ever do anything like this, you just have to relax and go with the flow. If it rains, you're gonna get wet. If it's hot as hell, you're going to get a sunburn. It's just the way it is. You just have to accept things as they come. And that's also part of the beauty and part of the challenge of it. So what what might be your most memorable story from one of your paths? Now, how many trips have you been on? I've been on seven. Mm. My most memorable, memorable event that happened to me was I was in Ledge Rapids, I believe on the east branch of the Penobscot. And I was with uh, my friend John. And John always comes on these trips, but unfortunately he's not on this one with us. And John and I wiped out in the middle of the rapids, and the canoe started coming towards John, and he, you never toss your paddle. And he tossed his paddle, and he was bracing for the impact from the canoe, then the canoe got caught in a rock. So nothing happened to him. And we were in the middle of the, of the rapids on rocks, and we weren't getting to shore. So we had to pull the canoe up on a dry rock on an exposed one, empty it out and then we jump back in with one paddle. I was in the back. We shoot through the first, uh, go through the first shoot. The current grabs the canoe and we do a complete 180. Mm. Now John's in the back. I toss him the paddle. We go through the next shoot. We do another 180. John tosses me the paddle back. We go through the, another shoot. We do another 180 and John asks for the paddle and I'm thinking this really isn't working out too well at this point. So we ended up doing the draw stroke to control the front of the canoe, and we finally made it to shore. <laughs> well, luckily, Linwood saw us, what was going on, and pulled over, and he had an extra paddle, and he walked up the river to give it to us. And that's probably my most memorable, exciting, and scary thing I've ever done. I don't recommend the stunt canoeing, <laughs> and I don't know how a 17-foot canoe did three 180s in the middle of the rapids, and we didn't wipe out again. But that's, that's my most memorable event from all my trips. All right. Now, you're talking about stunt canoeing. Is this a reference to, to Linwood or? No, it's the reference to uh, perfectly smooth 180s in the middle of the class <laughs> three rapids. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever seen With one Lin paddle? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen Linwood uh, do any polling? you standing up on the trips? Um, in his younger days, he would stand up and go through the rapids. Now, the only time he stands up is just to check the rapids. He's not quite as cocky as he used to be. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the menu that you're expecting. Are you looking forward to the food? Yeah, the food's always first rate. And he has all his um, coolers with names on different rivers that he's been on. 
and he has a list and he knows exactly where everything is and what day it should be opened. So everything's frozen when he starts out the trip and you don't open certain uh, coolers for three or four days so the meat stays frozen, you freeze the juices. And basically we really don't go on dry food until around day five is when you start running out of good meat. Okay. Like the last time we did this, our last uh, meal was pickled eggs and sardines. But at that <laughs> point you're just happy to have food. So now, has have you been on a trip with Betty when Betty's been there in the past? Yes, Betty, uh, I believe we did this, the St. Croix with Betty. Yeah. And Betty's a great paddler. So um, whatever she lacks in size and strength, she makes up for in technique and skill. So she's a lot, she looks pretty effortless out there. And when her and Linwood are in the canoe together, they're just absolutely in sync. They don't need to talk, they just do it. And they make, they make it look easy. And Betty's wonderful too, she's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. Yeah, I, I have to concur. <laughs> yeah, Betty doesn't have a mean bone in her body. You know, that's the way I would describe her. And she's been doing the Kadeska Extreme Race for years. I, I think maybe this year or last year might have been the first year she didn't do it. Yeah, my father came up and did the Kadeska one year with them. How did he like that? Uh, it wasn't bad. Were you his partner? You weren't his partner, were you? No, all right. I didn't um, think so. He uh, was Rose, or yeah, they they flipped. Or when when she tells a story, he flipped her. Oh. And when my father tells a story, they flip because it takes two to do the tango when you're in a canoe. <laughs> so ju just remember, it's never the other person's fault. It's a we thing. Oh, yes. We flipped over. <laughs> we hit a rock. 